is Tom and Paula Grays from Light of Christ Radio. And we're here with a story that will give you and your group light for your journey of life. Today we begin a new series, Encountering Jesus Through the Gospel of John, as we turn to John chapter 1, verses 1 to 14, and also chapter 20, verses 30 to 31. We will encounter Jesus through John, the author of this gospel, who is also known as the Beloved Disciple. But before we tell the story, we want to give you the context of the story. Now, John grew up in a fishing family by the Sea of Galilee. He and his brother James were working with their father when Jesus called them to be disciples. We get a hint of his personality from stories in the other Gospels. When Jesus called the brothers, he called them sons of thunder. They seemed to be aggressive and insensitive, or what we might call rough around the edges. When a Samaritan village refused to welcome Jesus, these brothers wanted to call fire down from heaven to destroy it. Jesus reprimanded them. Then after Jesus tells them he will suffer and die, the brothers come and ask to sit on each side of Jesus' throne in the new kingdom. The other disciples were outraged, but this gave Jesus a teaching opportunity where he explained to, to them that his kingdom leaders serve instead of lording it over people. And during their time with Jesus, these brothers were transformed. James was the first disciple to be martyred, and John became known as the disciple of love from his writings, this Gospel of John, and his letters of 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. Now that you have the context of the story, simply listen to the story as we tell it. Close your Bibles and try to picture yourself in the story. Listen carefully because after the story is told, you will be asked to retell the story. Don't worry, we think reading the Bible text is important too. Be patient and we'll get there. But for now, please simply close your Bibles and listen. John had encountered Jesus and it changed him. And this brings us to our story, the introduction to his book about Jesus. In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. The word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. God sent a man, John the Baptist, to tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. John himself was not the light. He was simply a witness to tell about the light. The one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He came into the very world he created, but the world didn't recognize him. He came to his own people, and even they rejected him. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. They are reborn, not with the physical birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. So the word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness, and we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. The disciples saw Jesus do many other miraculous signs in addition to the ones recorded in this book. But these are written so that you may continue to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing in him, you will have life by the power of his name. And this is a story from the Word of God. Now that you've listened to the story, Try to retell it from what you heard. Then read the text. Discussion questions are found below this video in the Show More section. It is our prayer that you will encounter Jesus in a new way through this story. Be blessed. 